Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name's Eastiana. Today's video is a little bit different. I want to share something that has really impacted my life for the better, especially right now in the pandemic. I live in Toronto and we are currently in lockdown. It feels like we have been forever. And with this situation, it's very uncertain, obviously, a lot of anxiety, every day is the same, and you feel like you're just kind of floating and have no sense of direction or purpose, and it's it's really easy to feel lost and unmotivated and productive. So something that I have been doing recently that has been really transformative and helped me, you know, put things back on the right track and give me a little bit more of purpose, intention, clarity, um, is morning journal prompts and writing prompts. So if you don't currently keep like a notebook or a journal beside your bed, you know, on your nightstand, and you don't write or sort through your thoughts, I highly recommend starting to do this and just incorporating this practice into your daily morning routine. So I'm gonna share five simple morning journal prompts for motivation that you can do every single day. Again, it's only gonna take you about five to 10 minutes of your time each day. So let's get started. Make sure you watch to the end because number five is personally my favorite, but let's get started. So number one is how do I want to feel today? So this is my journal and this morning in my journal I wrote to answer that question I want to feel accomplished and productive relaxed and joyful but whether you want to be thoughtful today or giving or productive when you pinpoint kind of how you want to feel and give thought to that it gives you more of an intention for the day rather than just waking up and starting and not having like a clear direction of where you want to go and how you actually want to feel. It instantly makes your mind more aware and mindful of what you do that affects how you feel. You're no longer walking into the day sort of mindlessly and now that you have this goal in mind, you'll be more in control and more conscious of your actions and your choices. Number two, what would support me in making me feel that way? What can I do today to get there? So what are some ideas, actions, activities, decisions you can make? What are the things that you can do or reach to as a resource or tool to help you get to where you wanna to be today in terms of how you wanna feel? So this is now taking your intentions and turning those intentions into actions to help you achieve those intentions. Most of us keep like a daily planner or a to-do list and all of that stuff on your list is usually, you know, work tasks, work chores, house chores, appointments, things like that. But we hardly ever put things on our list, you know, things that are actually going to transform and change our lives, such as like, you know, take that walk or meditate, things like that. If you wanna start doing yoga and you know that it'll help you feel less anxious and stressed, then why isn't it on your calendar booked like an appointment with yourself like you would for any other thing? So when you're listing those one to three things that you can do or turn to to help you achieve your intentions of how you wanna to feel today, Make sure you add those things onto your calendar or your actual to-do list or planner so you are reminded to do them and you prioritize them the way that you would any other thing for work. Make these appointments and things that you just can't miss and they're non-negotiables. This way you'll actually prioritize them and start making these things into daily regular habits. P.S. If you like this video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate all the support. So for me, with my intention of being relaxed and joyous today, the three things that I plan to do and want to do, one, do an evening yoga session, just 20 minutes. I put on a YouTube video. I really love Jessica Richberg's channel. I'll link her down below. Um, just doing a 20 minute video with her just instantly makes me feel better. And if I don't do that, then I'm not going to feel how I want to. And my second sort of support action to help me reach my intention of feeling good is to stay off social media by 8 p.m. By 8 p.m. I plan to stop scrolling because I know if I continue to do that, it's going to make me more anxious and I don't wanna feel that way. So I wrote those down, I encourage you to do the same. And they don't have to be just tasks or things that you can do or activities, they can also be people. So maybe it's like calling a certain friend that you know after talking to them always makes you feel good or a certain way. Okay, now that we've set our intentions of how we wanna feel and what are some things that we can do and prioritize to make us, to help us get there, number three is what are three things that I want to accomplish today? 
So this is a little bit different. This is actually going to be looking at your regular to-do list and your task list. Most of the time, a lot of us, and I for sure, am guilty of having like six or seven things on my to-do list every single day. It's like this big laundry pile of like a mountain of things to do that in reality is not really that realistic of getting done in one day, which is just setting myself up for failure or feeling like I haven't been productive or I didn't achieve all the things that I wanted to do. So what are the top three things that if I only did those three things, I would be satisfied? So by writing down your top three priorities, this will restructure your day instantly and again, inform all your decisions and how you're spending your time and structuring your day to make sure that you are actually prioritizing these really important things to you. And having this clarity in your mind will make you feel way more in control and in a time where largely most of what's happening is out of our control, this is something that you can control. Number four is, is there anything that is currently limiting me weighing me down, worrying me, any negative thought that I need to write down and let go. So you're not gonna wake up every single day feeling you know, necessarily refreshed, energized, and perfect. Like sometimes we wake up on the wrong side of the bed. And if you're already just starting your day feeling anxious or having negative thoughts in your mind, that's gonna affect how you approach the rest of your day. That's gonna affect how your day plays out. So immediately, if you know that there's something weighing on your conscious or you know, getting you down or making you feel anxious or worried or anything like that, write it down, put it on paper, get it off your chest. So this is acknowledging that you're feeling a certain way, acknowledging that these negative thoughts or feelings are there but you know, choosing to let them go because at the moment they don't serve you. Obviously that's easier said than done and probably negative thoughts are going to re-pop up throughout the day, but just getting into the habit of starting your day and then at least going for your coffee without feeling. And lastly, my favorite journal prompt and something that you should just do every day. I know a lot of people use the five minute journal and I do actually also. So I'll regular journal and then I also have the five minute journal, um, but it's all about gratitude. So daily gratitude practice, it's just like the opposite of any negative feeling that you could possibly have. Gratitude instantly just dissolves those negative feelings. Actively looking for the good in your life and you know, thinking about all the things that you do actually have or things that are giving you joy or make you feel comfort or happy and that you're glad that you have right now will instantly lift your mood even just a little bit. So write down you know, three to five things that you're just glad that you have right now today. So those are five easy, short morning journal prompts that you can do every single day or try to, if you don't get to it, you know, don't you know, worry about it, but try to do this more often if you can in the morning to start your day. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and got some value from it. If you did, make sure to give it a, th a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this I'll be putting out moving forward. I hope that you're keeping well during this weird time in life. I'm thinking of you and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.